Oh, you know, if you asked me a few days ago whether or not this day was actually going to happen, I would have said eventually. I didn't think it would have been this fast. How are we doing? Congratulations. Man, my feet a bit smelly. I haven't even gotten running today. But anyway, this is uh, <clears throat> this is us. We're playing some uh, GeoGuessr again in potentially Scandinavia's. Um, a little bummed out because it's raining outside and it's going to be absolutely miserable tomorrow. Nothing like it, it might look like this, but imagine this with like a million humidity. It's the worst feeling in the world. I would take. 30 below over Kangaskaliontai, which means you live here because you hate humidity. And humidity is the worst weather effect known to man. I mean, yeah, sure, there's the whole thing with, like, <laughs> hurricanes and tornadoes, but you know what I mean. I would much rather deal with a very cold and bitter day than I would humidity in any way. I just don't find it in any way enjoyable. Like, for everyone who lives like in India, Southeast Asia, anywhere in the equator, I don't know how you do it. It just feels and sounds awful. There's nothing about that type of life that just seems enjoyable to, enjoyable to me. If I was to go and look at the weather for, uh, I don't know, uh, Bangalore right now, I would just be like, yeah, I never would. This is, this is my hell. If hell exists, it's that temperature. There's nothing fun about it. Because at least when it's cold out, you can put on more layers. I mean, yeah, arguably you can live in higher temperatures and you can colder just without any protection of any kind, but still, you can't take clothes off. And, you know, you get to a certain point where just you can't anything, take anything else off. And I don't know if you've ever actually gone through your life with the type of sunburn so bad that you itch, but the itch is always at least like half an inch under your skin. You cannot reach it. It drives you mad. Like, I never thought something like that would drive me insane the way it actually did where I'm just sitting there in the shower nice cool shower not cold because I know about the whole skin contraction it's bad and I'm just like hey itch scratching I'm doing the instinctual scratch nothing's happening what's what's going on come on I got a minute left I can figure it out from here and it's just like well keep scratching it's not working panic okay what do we do now um animal brain's gonna kick in soon if you start panicking you gotta figure out how are you going to fix this? I got to look for 272. Are we actually over here? Because whatever you're doing now isn't working. Um, all right. Uh, plan B. Well, what's plan B? Uh, scratch. All right. That didn't work. So now what? Uh, plan C. Scratch harder. Okay. That didn't work. It's, it's funny how quickly your brain switches to... Okay. We are in Norway. Your brain switches from like rational human thought to just run or you know fix problem. Problem is not being fixed. Well, what do we do now? I don't know. Uh, keep doing it. I don't know. That didn't work either. So what do we do? Run. All right. All these people are running. Let's follow them. And any other type of time of day, any other event they would have in their life, they'd be like, I would never act like that. And then it takes something that doesn't make sense or is something you don't really ever run across in your everyday life to just throw every concept you have out of whack. Oh, we were in Finland. Fuck me. I didn't zoom in far enough. Oh yeah, there we go, 272. All right. Well, Finland, you, you, you bested me. I'll give you four stars for that. There was just enough information. I don't know where in Texas this is, because that's clearly Texas, but I will find out. Like, I don't know how I would handle a tornado like there was tornado warnings when i was a kid once for a really bad uh storm that came through but thankfully the terrain i live on it's almost it's not impossible but it's highly unlikely that i'll ever see a uh 
tornado touchdown where I am. This is a substation. I do not know where this substation is. Usually there's a sign. Here it is. It just says energy. And someone does not spell very well. Entergy. Whatever. It's, this is water. City of Port Arthur. Oh, well, that that's going to help me, which makes me feel we're on Port Arthur. Look at that. All right, now I got to zoom in and try to find... Let's hit home. I'll, we're probably in the burbs of Port Arthur. I'll get to the end of the road, and we're, we're going to sit here and stare at some street signs until I uh, can figure this stuff out. But, I mean, I was in the worst... Lexington, it's 3700 Ave. Okay. I was in the worst possible type of structure for a tornado, which was a trailer. And if that thing actually touched down, it probably would have probably killed me. I mean, I don't know exactly. It's 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 possible. I don't think I'm going to find this. But hey, stranger things have happened. Like, we, we deal with snow. I mean, I'm fine. Lexington Ave. Look at that. We found it. Lexington Ave is kind of long. Are we near the cul-de-sac for it? Which way do we go? Do we go this way? There was an intersection here with 39th Street. Now we have to find 36th. 39th. So, let's find another street to triangulate myself a little better. I'm surprised I found all of this stuff when I did, how I did. So this is that weird little triangle thing. So we're like right here. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit the home button and let's take a look at this road because it was this way was the little, yep. And we had just that curve. So we're right there. Nailed it. All right, so I'm going to talk a little bit more before I uh, finish this one up because it's in the bag. And yeah, maybe here. Um, yeah, I don't know how people in the Midwest you deal with it. I don't know how you get hurricanes down here in Texas, especially here. I mean, you are right on the Gulf Coast. A lot of a lot of hurricanes happen here. Like where I am up here. You get some, you get remnants of the uh, hurricanes. They come tropical depressions. They still have names. Uh, but by the time they get to us, it's still raining. And my stupid stoner thoughts also are, how can something like rain? It's raining today. And if you were like, okay, these clouds have been raining. These are the same clouds that are probably like started over here. And by the time it gets over to where I am, it's just like continually raining. I'm like, it still has that much water to dump that far, especially if it's like lots of rain. I, I know it's not exactly that because it goes, it keeps picking up moisture as it goes. Did I, I got very close. I was, I was actually kind of far, almost 10 yards, five stars. That five stars is for me. And again, you, you pick five stars, the game is like, all right, well, we'll kick this up back to desert. Now are we going to end up in, uh, and good ol' where'd that car go? Oh, where it's getting away from us. Actually, that was a mileage marker. We're gonna look at this thing and tell us where we are. Are these kilometers? I think this is mile. Yep, all right, so we're in the US, potentially southwest. Down here. Now, down here all you've got is what? High temperatures? Meth. That's about it. I mean, it regionally, it's probably the safest place. I mean, it's desert, high heat. That's bad. But they don't get much else. I mean, there are sometimes typhoons hit this side of Mexico, but that's about it. If you can live with just a desert, I guess you'd be, uh, I guess you would be fine. But mm, I guess, it, you know, it clearly also does depend on where you grew up. Because if you grew up in this part of the world... You would be used to it. But if then we move you to, uh, like, Alaska from here, you're like, no, this ain't, I don't like this. It's snow. I'm not used to snow. And someone like me, it's like, I 
really find it weird that Christmas cannot have snow. That just blows my mind. I feel like I need at least four seasons. I need to see these cars. I'm ge they're, they're getting space just enough where I can't tell what state we are. Was there a second car? Okay, there was. There's this truck. It's, again, spaced perfect, perfectly where I'm not going to see it. I got to get to the front. Or is this one of the... Yep. They're one of the states that only needs to have one license plate. Okay, this car is passing. I'm going to back up. I'm going to back up. That is an Arizona license plate. I can tell because it's like you can look up license plates for Arizona. You see it's a lighter blue sky, and then you've got like the desert, and there's like a cactus on the... Where that little smudge of purple is, that's, that's a cactus they have for Arizona. So I'm going to say we're potentially on a highway. No, not one of the major highways. We're on a route. Maybe Route 70. Just click there for now. Hopefully, maybe get a road marker saying what we're on, but I doubt it. Oh, it just says do not pass. Well, why? There's nothing here. I don't see anything at all. I mean, it's a bit of a curve and a turn, but pass with care. Again, you're not helping. I need anything. No pass on. It says on the other side. Come on. Anything. I know I got the state right. And it, the other Arizona plate here is it's white with the red lettering on the top that says Arizona. So this is an Arizona. They didn't blur that one out because they forgot. Again, it's a no pass zone. That's not helping me. I need anything to tell me what we're on. We're not, I'm not going to get it. We're just on this long, desolate road. That guy almost veered off the road. I think he fell asleep. Yep, so I'm just going to hope I got the right route because this is not a highway because there'd be another highway going the opposite direction very close by. So this is a route. I just hope I picked the right one. And uh, I probably didn't. In 10 seconds, we're going to find out. Jesus. Now, I wonder if these people who actually do these Google uh, map things... How they get paid? Oh, we were in New Mexico, huh? Well, color me completely wrong. I'm not going to give any stars for that. No. We're, uh, I'm not entirely sure where we are just yet. This is maybe the U.S. This could be, like, uh, southeast could be Tennessee Valley. I don't know. Pine trees do not give things away, because my assumption once that it, pine trees mean northeast, and that's it. I'm sure that says Dixie. It's just not the greatest camera in the world here. Yeah, so this is probably the south, southeast. So zoom in. I'm going to say Alabama for now. Potentially Georgia. This power truck might tell me a thing or two that's just a municipal license plate they're usually all municipal plates usually they're just white with black writing it doesn't tell me anything this is quite the uh convoy we got going here though i'm not going to get it very good again this is dixie if you want to know dixie technically the mason dixon line started between maryland and Virginia, I believe, was the Mason Dixon line. It's either that or Pennsylvania. I cannot remember right now, and I'm feeling really bad that now I'm on the spot. Can't think of what Mason Dixon line is. Oh, now I just need a sign. Give me intersection, a car with readable license plates. Was this Florida? I can't tell what that is yet. That doesn't help, but there is a blue sign up here. This is exactly what I need. That is a Alabama. All right. We're the end of 186 West. All right. I was right with Alabama, so 186 West. We are looking for you. And again, you probably have seen this before I have. And if you have, congratulations. 
my eyesight is going. We are close to 53. I need, I can't remember all these numbers. I am a not smart man. Zoom in one more. Um, I-85. Or is that 65? No, that's 85. All right, look for I-85. Why is there no Montgomery, Alabama? And then you've got Atlanta that way. Oh, there's 85. Okay. So, Montgomery here. Going to click here and then hit back because now I've got a point of reference for 186 West. I don't see it. How about 53? 186 or 53? 55, 52. Zoom in a bit. I feel like I'm in the right area. But clearly not. God damn it, where are you? Hmm. 51. 51, 51, 51. 86. I need 86, 86, 86, 50. 86, 53, 86, 53. This one's gonna bug me because I can't, I can't see it. Am I not going far enough? 52. I'm, it's, ah, I went, I don't even see, there's 86, oh man, I was not gonna, I was not gonna get that, looking in the wrong area completely, uh, South Africa, or, well, let's take a look at this car, no, their steering wheel is on the American side, so, is this Mexico? Hmm, or is this Brazil? Let's see what this sign says. Ponte Sobrero Riacho Ranch. And this is going to fuck my score up. Riacho. Brazil. Man. Give me... Give me a highway sign right on the side of the road here, please. I need it. These are some weird signage. Oh man, this is the sign I need. BR020. So we are in Brazil. The problem is BR, I believe, is like a. Uh, let's look. Let's look. okay. So we know how this works. Is the first two is the uh, province. However, I don't think BR is a province abbreviation for anything in. Brazil. I think it's just a see I get close enough and you see MGMG because this is a province Minas Gerais or whatever. BR020 040 Alright I'm going to pan up 030 Okay so 020 is right here. Problem is 020 seems to start here. And how far does 020 go? I'm still seeing it. I'm still seeing it. All right, so 020 is a insanely long strip of road. I'm going to click here. What the hell is P09 or EX? POX? I don't know. So now I'm hoping to find Campos Club. Clube. I don't think I'm going to find anything that says Campos anywhere. 020 is a... It's 114, so... We're at the start of it. The only problem is... We'll be up here? I'm going to look for, like, that rancho, whatever the hell it was called. And then go from there, because I doubt I'm going to see rancho or whatever. I'm hoping I actually have the right route, and I really think I do. So, I think I'm fine with having the road right. O2O o o keeps going. That is not the one. This is taking up so much time. 
and O2O keeps going. Okay, O2O ends there. Uh, well, I'm like 100% there in the sense that I've got the highway right. I am 40% there as far as what side of the highway I'm on here because I'm going to like click a little farther down here. Like click me on the road because I'm not going to, I'm hoping that this is the start and that's the end and not the other way around. So I'm going to, again, hedge bet and put it in the middle. Got 10 seconds. Until I see it like a sign saying you're near Rio de Janeiro or something. I'm not going to, though. I've got five seconds. I'm just clicking along. I don't have fast enough reaction times from here to know that I'm going to click the right one. So, okay. It was closer. Actually, that really means nothing. I just don't know like scale when I look at this, but I got the, I got the route right. And all right, uh, got myself over the 20,000 and that's all I care about right now. Uh, I don't think I got it on Monday, but it's a strong way to end the week. So for all of you out there, enjoy your weekend. And as you do like favorite comment, subscribe, tell your friends, tell me anything you want. I'll be here. Or you, you can tell me all of your troubles. Or if it's like Delilah, whatever the hell her name is. But yeah, we'll see you back on Monday with some uh, brand new stuff. Is Evo going to be there? Your guess is as good as mine. But for all of us here, to all of you, have a good night. Have a good day. And we will see you again real soon.